Hello, welcome to my very interesting presentation, which is a result of a cooperation between the Center for Ocean and Society in Kiel, the IDEF in Leipzig and the DTO Aqua in Copenhagen. Hey, Rudy, what are you doing? Ah, I just practiced my talk for the upcoming ISIS conference. Are you interested? It's only six minutes. Yes, sure. What is it about? It's about climate change impacts on Western Baltic cod and herring fisheries, an ecological, economic, multi-species modeling approach. Wow! But these are three things at a time. Climate change, multi-species and bioeconomic modeling. In six minutes? You better hurry up. Okay, okay. So this is the area of interest, the Western Baltic. Traditionally, the cod and herring have been very important for the fishery. For the stocks, um, it's not looking that good. The spawning stocks decreased to very low levels in recent years. And what is alarming, recruitment seems to be impaired. And the fishery? Mm, it's suffering. For example, the number of boats in the German fleet has decreased drastically and more and more fishers are giving up. Mm. You mentioned climate change. Has it an impact? Climate change is very strong in the Western Baltic. Sea surface temperature showed an increase of 1.3 degrees between 1950 and 2020. At the same time, there was a decrease in bottom oxygen by 0.9 milliliter per liter. For our model, we included environmental change in the stock recruitment functions. We tested different functional forms in combination with different environmental factors like temperature, salinity or oxygen. For herring, we found a significant impact of bottom temperature in the fourth quarter on recruitment in the following year. Um, for cod, we found a significant impact of surface temperature in the third quarter. In both cases, um, an increase in temperature was negative for recruitment strength. Mm, this doesn't sound too good for the future, but how did you model it in the end? The ecological part in the model uses predation as the ecological interaction, and I'm an expert on predation. Oh, I'm also an expert on predation. Uh, the model is age-structured and uses the ICES estimates of population variables as input. The economic part has prices which depend on demand and supply, cost functions depend on stock size and effort. In this case, we also included an economic interaction. The cost function also depends on the stock size of the other species. In a way, this mirrors that it becomes more attractive to catch cod if the herring stock is low and vice versa. The standard objective is to maximize economic surplus, which includes the consumer side. Mm, the economic interaction seems a bit tricky to estimate, no? Well, this is the easy answer. For, uh, full detail would be way too much for my six minutes, but please contact me in case you're interested. So, show me some results! If there was no climate change, the cod stock would partly and slowly recover. The optimal catches stay, however, very low. Almost nothing for up to 10 years. Herring would recover as well, fortunately much faster than cod. Total economic surplus as well as producer surplus increase and we would be able to have a profitable fishery. Nice! But what happens with climate change? Well, this is not so nice. Here we have temperature change as compared to the mean of 1990 to 2020 on the x-axis. With further temperature increase, optimal stock size of cod and herring decrease. At around 1.5 degrees Celsius, no further catches are taken. The herring fishery actually stops even before the cod fishery. Economic surplus is close to zero. But this is many years from now, isn't it? No, the last years have already been at approximately 0.9 degrees above the mean. But what to do? Is there any new hope? Well, the flatfish stocks are doing quite well. 
Here is the example of place. So maybe the fishery could switch the target species and survive. But it might as well become a new disaster. I just saw undersized place as cat and dog food. Let's hope the best and that management will find ways to protect the stocks and the fishery. Anyhow, as the great philosopher Doris Day said, the future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. I learned to appreciate good presentations. What does that have to do with what we are seeing right now? Oh, nothing. I just thought I could mention it. <laughs>